team name is Team Kinetic, which myself is Ashley, Lyle, and Andy. Um, the problem was to project the ball at set distance that would be given. Uh, what we came up with was, I suppose, in effect, a pinball launcher with a, using a pipe and a compressed spring mechanism. So, our first step was we had to calculate the spring constant. So, our spring in length was 0.137 meters. We tested it with three different weights 10 kilo, 15 kilo, and 25 kilo come pressing it. And displacement each time was for the 10 kilos 18, well, 15 kilos 27, and the 25 kilo was 45. So, to calculate that out, it was the mass times gravity divided by the spring displacement, which gave us the value we were each time of 5,450 nanometers. Or no meters, sorry. Um, so, yeah, once we had that, is there? Just the units again, what the units? Uh, Newton per meter. Um, once you had the spring constant, then we were able to calculate the spring potential energy. So the formula for that was a half times the spring constant by the spring displacement squared, which we were setting it to and which we displaced by 60 mil, 0.06 of a meter. So that gave us uh, an potential energy of 9.81 joules. So from that then we are going to calculate the velocity using the kinetic energy formula. And what we worked on this was the elastic potential energy, all that was transferred into kinetic energy into the, the wall. So we had 9.81 joules equal to half times the mass by the velocity squared. But what we had to take into account was the ball was 0 0.0586 kilos, but the platform for the ball along with the rest of the mechanism, the eye open everything was 0 0.0767 kilos. So that gives us a total mass that we're firing was 0 0.1353 kilos. So when we put that into the formula and brought the velocity squared on one side, it gave us a velocity of 12.04 meters per second. So I'm going to hand you over to Andy now. <coughs> then to calculate the max range, we use this formula using the velocity and sine the angle over g, which is 9.81. Then uh, we said the best firing angle would be 45 degrees for the max range. So we put in 145, which is v squared, by the sine 2 times 45, which is 90, over 9.81, which is 145 over 9.81, which got us a max range of 14.78 meters. Just to, um, how do you know the best firing angle is 45 degrees? <coughs> Sorry? You can, just, just, just on that. How do you know they're the best firing angle is 45 degrees? Yeah. Um, well, we have this formula, v squared by sine 2 alpha over g. Yeah. So, um, 45 degrees gives a 1. It's a uh, sine 90, which is 1. And sine will be between 1 and minus 1. So, anything less would be 0 0.86, 0 0.8. That's it. Thank yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Then, um, when we're given the range here, we use this formula and we put in R and um, it's a half inverse sine by G, which is 9.81 and whatever range we want by the velocity squared. That's, is that the initial, the initial velocity squared? And um, then you can work out the angle for that and the best angle is 45 degrees. In terms of your losses, so that's kind of a, a theoretical angle. Yeah. How then do you allow for any losses in the system? Uh, by testing it, we, sh we shot at angles and exactly what the angle, what the range should be, and what actual should be. Yeah. We went back to our losses. And what kind of losses did you find? Between 15 and 60 percent. 
50 and 60 percent. It's quite hot. Was that higher than you expected? Much higher. What kind of reasons do you think, or how do you think the what form did those losses take then? Where did they arise from? Um, I reckon I suppose most of probably in the possibly in the platform fire mechanism that we reckon a lot of the energy is being platform scraping up along the pipe. Friction. Oh, so friction, friction between the uh, wind resistance or you know, resistance with the pipe and the walls driving out. Did you try and sorry and just did you try and grease the um, no we didn't. We felt the ball and the pipe into their two smooth enough surfaces. We tried with um, uh, softer balls, but there was more friction than you didn't make out the pipe at all. Okay. So we felt that was the best ball for the idea to shoot. If we could, it would be trying to suspend the spring within the pipe so that it wasn't touching off the surface at all. So I think they welded the bottom of the spring too, and then it played the bit on the back, but that leads to me then it wouldn't be able to touch any sides. Probably a bit more work to make sure that the platform would be pulled back dead center all the way. And that when it's caught and released, it releases so it doesn't touch the sides and probably and they would have taken out a lot of percentage error. Did you try any smaller projectiles that might go faster? Um, we didn't try any ball there the marbles. We tried the smaller squash balls. Uh, it had a it had a half to wait for the ball, so in theory it should have traveled further. Yeah. But for some reason it was just only popping out. A lot of resistance in them squash balls as well. And we didn't kind of grab the pipe. And the ball hit it. We think it might be like um, collapsing and then expanding the ball itself so that energy would be released. But what about the length of the pipe? Does that, what effect does that have on uh, the work? We decided to, I suppose, shorten it because we, uh, what, we, what we thought was happening is that the pipe being at the angle it was, that it was potentially forcing the ball to travel at more of an upward angle than gravity and that would want the ball to. So the ball was going to curve like that, the pipe was forcing it to travel more of that, which we was potentially causing some losses of in the velocity of the ball. What difference does that make when you shorten the pipe? Um, well, we probably we didn't do the, we can check. We just, I suppose, worked on that theory to shorten the pipe and then done our experiments. But if the ball is going to do that, the plank is still in the way anyway. The plank is sitting on, like if that was the problem. Yeah. So it's still a problem. Um, but this problem, but this the problem, 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 problem only kind of arise. Uh, at at what we tried to do with math angle 45. Because okay. in theory, like, the ball should be travelling at the same velocity for a low angle as a high angle coming out the pipe. But when we shot it at 10 degrees, it was shooting out at a quiet speed, with 45s are popping up and it's kind of coming out and dropping. So instead, like, we just eliminated 45 degrees altogether from the actual machine. Just before we go on to trialing it out, can you give a brief introduction to your alternative scheme? <coughs> can you bring that and just put it yep. so you, you can point to it as you talk? There's no working parts on it, it's just using gravity to accelerate the ball. And uh, the higher up, the higher up, we started at zero from here. We rolled up at a uh, top distance of one meter. We want the base is safe. The, top, the further up the ramp you go, the more speed it will um, generate and the further you'll travel. So, what we did was we calculated 
you know, the ball is starting at zero. What we need to do is find the ball when it entered the point Q, which you see there. And that essentially was end of the straight rep. So we found this velocity. Then they split this curve, this, it's basically a um, circumference of circuit with both sides um, the exact same as each other. So what we said was, say the ball enters at three meters per second, it generates X amount of velocity here, and then it loses the exact same coming out. So when it's entering, we have to say three, it leaves a trip. So we did it at one meter on the board, and we calculated it and we go one point seven meters. Did you test that? Uh, no, we didn't. Is, is the angle <coughs> of the, the demo model, or sorry, the, yeah. the radius, the is that the same as what you predicted? Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to test it? Quite yeah. afterwards. Okay. The, the material we've made of it is pipe insulation, so there will be a lot of friction coming down. We still did the test. Go after it. Yeah. Might work better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> um, so 5.25 meters is a target. Can you then determine the angle and then talk us through how you're going to modify that to, to hit the target? Yeah. 